Hey everyone. In this video, as part of Simone Yates' class on monthly, I built a fidget spinner for my dog. Even though this is only the prototype, it's actually quite effective. Stick around to the end of the video to see some more clips of him being cute. In the last video, after taking apart a bunch of electronics, I came up with the idea of making a fidget spinner for my dog. So with that idea, it was time to get my materials together. Starting with some toothbrushes, I went ahead and took a photo of this and mocked it up in Photoshop, as you can see here, just to get a general idea of the layout that I was going to want. After that, it was time to test the premise of the idea. And like most of my projects, I started with a simple cardboard prototype. So very important to see, will my dog actually go for it? Peanut butter, one of his favorites. And he's so obedient, just waiting. Look at those ears. So as you can see here, the basic idea works, although this is a cardboard prototype, so obviously we'll need to firm things up. He doesn't seem to mind though. So thinking about the first real prototype, there are two main requirements I want to focus on. First is that it needs to be easily washable, as peanut butter can get pretty gross. And second is, as you can see here, my dog is a major chewer. So this thing needs to be durable enough to hold up to a little bit of biting in addition to the licking. So with those in mind, I came up with a couple different prototypes. The first involved using the original hard drive and a PVC pipe, but there were other options. Since any idea would involve bonding some plastic, I went ahead and tried out a couple different adhesives, including JB Weld, some super glue, and E6000. So sticking with the original prompt of electronic scrap, I took a look at some other uh, spinning items I had in my inventory. In the end, it came down to these two. The one on the left here definitely doesn't spin as fast as the computer fan on the right, but this is actually better for safety overall. And in addition to that, it also has the benefit of being removable for easy cleaning. So with that selected, it was time to go ahead and design a base for it. I routed out a section of this wood just enough to fit the entire uh, motor inside, uh, then gave it a nice beveled and rounded edge so as to not hurt the pepper. And then I went ahead and set in all of the toothbrushes using E6000 and left that to dry. So while that was setting, uh, I drilled out the base just enough to insert a little white cap to go over everything, make it pretty. And right here, this screw drops into the table saw, lovely. And needless to say, words were spoken. But with that finally retrieved, managed to screw everything together and got a final working prototype. Stay. And with a final working prototype, that means it's time to test it. So let's see how Tile Screw does. A little bit of chewing here, but not too bad. And just for a point of reference, this is a selection of clips out of about five minutes that he was just there watching it twirl, trying to lick it. He really enjoyed this thing. But that is how the prototype stands for now. A little bit left to do before the final build is ready, but overall, I'm really happy with this and can't wait for you guys to see the rest. Thank you all so much for watching. The final video will be coming soon, so please get subscribed for that. Uh, and in the meantime, have a good rest of your day.